Hello everyone. I recently rebuilt my website using Shad CN UI, and in this video I will go over some of the things I've learned. So Shad CN UI is a library that has been gaining a lot of traction recently, so I decided to try it out on my own website. Uh, so we're going to talk about the paradigm and the pros and cons and some tips for using it, and also uh, when to use it, when not to use it. All right. So first is the paradigm. Well, before this, uh, there were traditional UI libraries. Uh, for example, Bootstrap, uh, Material UI, and these libraries they had a good out of the box design. But one of the issues with it was that you know it's hard to customize because the style is coupled to the components. And then you also have headless UI primitives like Radix UI and you know, headless UI, and they give you a lot more flexibility and customization, but it's extra work to theme and style them, right? You have to actually spend time styling them. And as a full stack developer, you know, I don't like to spend too much time uh, you know, working with design. I just want something to look good right out of the box. So with Shad CN, um, they kind of give you the best of both worlds, where it's not a library that you import into your code and start using the components. They're actually copied and pasted into your code base. And it provides sensible styling on top of the Radix UI primitives and other libraries. Right? So they give you a CLI tool where you can quickly copy and paste the components you need into your code base. So essentially, it's a starting point to build your own component library. All right, so let's talk about some of the pros here. Uh, so the first pro is that you know customizations are easy because you know the code is copied and pasted into your source code, and you can just go into it and make whatever changes you need. So you know, just as an example, here is you know a button that was copied and pasted into my code base. So if I wanted to add another variant. I could just come in here and just add another variant uh, with Tailwind CSS classes, like this. All right, so the other pro is that there is minimal lock-in to the library. So it's very easy to replace the underlying dependencies. So essentially, you have this sort of facade pattern, right? So uh, with Shad CN, you know, we, it's just these components here, I can just come in and change the implementation if I wanted to. And if it was using some other dependency, I could just remove that and just implement it myself or swap it out with another dependency. All right, so another thing that I liked about ShadCN is that the theme is controlled by a global CSS file instead of some proprietary theme object like most other UI libraries. So if we go back to the code, we have this global CSS here, and it's got all of the colors, uh, so the base colors, and then the dark colors can be defined here. And it's pretty easy to define new uh, colors in here. So I can just go in here and add a new one. And this is HSL, by the way, the recommended CSS format uh, for dealing with colors. All right, so the fourth pro is, uh, based on personal experience, it seems to have less gotchas when integrating with Tail and CSS uh, than some of the other UI libraries I've tried. All right, so what are some of the cons? So one, updates might be hard to do. And you know, instead of updating a single package uh, like the other UI libraries, you might have to update multiple uh, packages since uh, you are manually importing them uh, one by one. So the second con is that the code base does kind of get cluttered with extra files. So there's a lot of files that you have to add, right? You have to add this components.json, you have to make changes to Tailwind config, uh, some changes in package.json, and then this utils uh, file gets added. So with other UI libraries, I think there's less things you have to add. Uh, so it's a little bit cleaner, but then you know, it's kind of a trade-off. You just have more stuff in your code now, but then you have more uh, flexibility and customization. All right, so con three, um, 
takes a bit more setup than other UI libraries. And then you have to run the add command uh, or manually copy and paste things. So it's a little bit more work, but then that is like the trade-off, right? Now you have more flexibility to customize things in the future. All right, so here's a few tips for using it. So tip one, use CSS variables. Uh, why? Well, it's easy to change the global styles, color accents, and other things in the future. If you don't use them, then you'll end up having to search and replace. If you decide to change a color, you'll have to do a search and replace for that uh, CSS class and replace it all over your code base. So just you have the option to use it or not with Shadcn, but I recommend using it. Um, and then also use CSS variables for custom fonts. Why? Same reason. It'll make it easier to change in the future. So uh, here is an example of that. So I have this font here, this retro font, and I've declared the variable as font retro, and then you just have to add it onto your body like this, and now I can use it uh, anywhere in my app. Also, you have to declare it here as well in the Tailwind file. And so if I wanted to use that font um, here, just it just becomes a Tailwind class like that. So yeah, remember to uh, declare new color accents in global CSS and Tailwind config, as I just showed. Uh, and then declare a base style and dark style, and then you can use the bg dash variant name and text dash variant name for around convention. So this is a convention that um, Shadzian uses uh, for new Tailwind classes that you add. So let's see. I scroll down here. This is where you would add it. So primary, you, you would need a default and a foreground property. All right, so when should you use Shadzian? So if you want sensible default styling on top of the Radix UI primitives, or if you want increased flexibility to change things down the road, then Shadzian is a very good option. Uh, when should you not use it? Well, if you prefer the aesthetic of another traditional UI library, or if you're okay with having less control over styles and underlying dependencies, and if you're okay being locked into a UI library. Um, so yeah, those are my thoughts on ShadCN. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, and for more resources on full stack development, check out my website, uh, which was recently redesigned with ShadCN at fullstackbook.com.